Morning folks. These sofas brought to us from uh, Sterling. This one here is called Royal. Scent on this one here, when I, off the puck, off the, I can pick up the, the citrus just fine, but citrus, iris, woods, um, I think there was some more to it, but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. I've got it whipped up here in the travel scuttle here, and, um, Oddly enough, I pick up more woods and maybe the iris when I whip it up off of the brush than the citrus. I don't even really, my nose doesn't pick up the citrus after I whipped it up. So, you know, what your nose picks up, it, it may vary. But, um, yeah, I've got it whipped up here in the travel scuttle here. This particular brush is, I got this one here a few years back. This is in shave and, uh, there you go there, that Shave It World. That each one of these were numbered. And this is number two here uh, with a tuxedo knot. But uh, I pick up more of the wood and just maybe just a little bit of the iris. But off the puck, I pick up the citrus without a problem. Anyway, just uh, one of those things that I observed with my nose. And uh, got the uh, matching aftershave here. Already put a hot towel to the face this morning. And pre-shave a Muse Impress, so uh, pre-shave cream here. And... Uh, it's probably still going to last me a little while longer. It's about down to here. It's not far from being almost empty, uh, considering how much I started out with. Um, shaver of the day. Um, shave it. This one here is Lion Star. You might be able to see that right through there. And uh, this handle does look somewhat familiar for most folks that uh, follow this sort of shaving. And uh, does have a place here where you can tighten it up. There are a couple of washers here. It does provide a very, I guess you might say, uh, stiff uh, tightening. It's it's pretty sturdy. It's, yeah, it's just the way I like it. In other words, it takes some effort to get it to move. You can loosen it up if you like it a little bit more floppy. But for me, I like it nice and tight like that. It makes it easier to hang on to for me. The only thing I should point out about this is it does have a, you know, plastic where it was uh, molded, I guess you might say, and it broke it apart. But this particular, uh, uh, a shaver I've got uh, on eBay, and I got a link down below for all this stuff if you want to take a look at it. Oh, one of the uh, the blade of choice. Uh, it takes DE blades snapped in half, or you can go ahead and get them pre cut. This one here is the uh, uh, black label blade from uh, Supply Injector Blade. I've got it in there. You can probably see the exposure there. I'm going to use it today, and this will be about the fourth or fifth use on this blade. I've used it a few times, in other words. But um, at any rate, I'll go ahead and get started here and wet the face. Um, what I was going to mention about this scuttle, it's a travel scuttle, and you get a pink's artisan accoutrements. And of course, you know, like I said, it's plastic, so if you a little bit clumsy, wet hands or whatever, you drop it, it won't be the end of the world. <laughs> but one of the nice things about it is that you put your water in it, put it in the microwave for a moment, now you got your hot water for your scuttle, and... Um, the handle is hollow, so when you go to get it out of the microwave, the handle is also warm as well as the rest of the scuttle. So if that is a thing for you, that is something uh, that would be kind of nice to know with this particular scuttle that it is, uh, this blather is a little bit wet. Um, that is something that will be nice to know that your handle temperature will be like the rest of your scuttle. Pretty nice. Did whip this up on the wet side. We're going to see if I got it too wet. <laughs> but as it goes for anything to do with uh, sterling soap, it's tallow based. It is slick. I don't, my nose, I know some folks say that, you know, their nose picks up the tallow. My nose being as, you know, I guess you might say as bad as it is, it does not pick it up. I do not smell the tallow, but then again, a lot of times the scent itself, I have a hard time smelling. So there's that. Yeah, I think I'm working it up there. As goes for the pre-shaved cream that I use from Prasso, I do take a moment and uh, work it into my skin, uh, right after I get done with the hot towel and, uh, 
how much uh, pre-shaved cream you want to use is really up to you. Um, you can use what you might consider quite a bit. Um, I feel like I put quite a bit on there. I just take a moment to work it into my skin. Uh, to me, it seems to work better that way. We get started here. Oh, should mention this particular one. Like a number of shave bits, it does have a little bit of a bevel to it to help uh, aid in getting the uh, angle that you might need. As it goes for stretching your skin, it really depends on each individual. Even with um, uh, DE shaving or whatever the case might be, single edge shaving, it really depends on your skin and how taut it is to begin with. It Mine's not near as tight as it used to be, <laughs> so I uh, have to do just a little bit of stretching in order to keep things, I guess you might say, going smoothly. In the beginning, I used to do quite a bit more stretching than what I do right now. And I learned over time that I don't have to stretch quite as much as I started out doing. There's a little bit of trial and error, if you will, figuring out how much you need to stretch. One thing about this is that the, um, like I said, Sterling soap is slick. I don't have to worry near as much about uh, slickness when I use Sterling soap. And I usually just do a two-pass shave with a, um, with a shave head or a straight razor. For me, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm able to get you know, the bulk of uh, the whiskers reduced at that point, and I don't really see the need for a uh, third pass. In other words, usually with the grain and against the grain does a pretty good job. I do have a spot that a little tough to get from time to time right through here, but sometimes I can get it with a shave head or a straight razor. Just depends on how my shave is going. It is a little bit awkward to get through there, so sometimes if I feel the need, uh, I might just go ahead and use a, uh, a point over here because I've got a, a gem G-bar that's uh, sitting over here with a blade in it if I happen to need to take a couple of strokes right through there just to catch it. But I don't see that that is a, a real big problem. In other words, it doesn't bother me. For some folks, it seems to bother them to be, have to do something like that. But for me, I, I don't because... It is such an odd angle through there that if I really feel the need to get a little bit closer, it is a tough one for me to do. And also you use the same hand <laughs> throughout the shave. And I know most folks use two hands. <laughs> nope, I'm just using the one. <laughs> I only trust this hand. My, my left hand, no, I don't trust it. I tried a time or two. It's just like I just can't, just can't do it. Mentally, it's just too much for me. I find that if I approach it like that, that I usually catch most of those whiskers right through there, where I guess you might say the shave is satisfactory for me. I have seen different methods of shaving with the shave vet, um, especially with a shave vet, not so much as a straight razor. Um, I don't know how they do it. I really don't. The short, real fast, I guess you might say choppy strokes, I don't know how they do it. That'd make me a nervous wreck doing it like that. <laughs> I just can't bring myself to try it. Uh, no, I can't do it. Guess you might say my real concern is that by the time I realize I've cut myself twice or three times, in other words, doing it that fast, that quick, 
I already, yeah, chopped myself up <laughs> before I'm able to figure out that oh, I might want to stop. <laughs> Yeah, that worked out really well. I can tell sometimes, and if you've had any experience doing this, you should be, probably be able to tell also how close you're getting, how smooth of a shave that you're getting. And especially on my cheeks, it's pretty easy to tell on how close I'm getting because by the time I'm done, I definitely can tell when I'm doing a little bit of a wipe down, I guess you might say, I can tell the difference on how it feels and right on my cheeks when I'm going on the against the grain I can usually tell just how how close I'm getting and I mean it is very smooth uh, it is one of those things that uh, for me the satisfaction of getting a a shave with a shave head or straight razor it is really nice I enjoy it it does take concentration uh, from time to time <laughs> You might get your pressure off just a bit or your angle and it's going to let you know so you might want to pick a day that you in other words that you're i guess you might say that you're good and awake and feeling pretty decent the weather around here it is uh quite wild yesterday the temperature was up around 70. uh when i got up earlier this morning the temperature was 34 and right before i came in here it dropped to 30. so we got a cold front coming through and it really this kind of weather really messes with my sinuses. The pressure around the eyes gets to be quite a bit. Uh, so some days, in other words, I'll change my routine up and whatever I have. In other words, a shave at shave. Sometimes I swap it out with a different shaver because uh, <laughs> I'm just not feeling quite up to being able to focus with the all that pressure around my eyes. Witch Hazel Humphreys. Yes, this is a big bottle. This is the, what, 16-ounce bottle. Yes. Get kind of confused whether there's 12 or 14, but yeah, it's a 16-ounce. It is a big bottle. It's going to last me a good long moment. Picked it up at Marshall's on sale for $5.99. Still got the sticker on it over there. Aftershave. I have not smelt the aftershave just yet. I pick up off the container... I, I pick up more of the wood than anything else, but we'll see how it works on the dry down. I do like these little green bottles. I think that's pretty cool. I'll try to link below if you haven't seen it. There's a video that they have put out on how their business is progressing with the coffee and the soap and everything and how, how, how much they have grown over the years. Uh, it is really great to hear that. Uh, I know I I do enjoy listening to it and watching the video. I'll try to find it and make sure I get a link down below. Uh, Sterling. Uh, it is really awesome what they're doing. I had a great shave this morning. Worked out pretty well. I just have to say my... Uh, even though I don't shave every day with a shave it like I used to. But skill st set still there. Not too bad. Just a little bit of stinging today. Had a great shave. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shades to you.